All right, I have created the log test and saved it. I'm gonna close and back up and I need to go to administration. When I go to administration, remember, that is where my log tests and recordings for all of my recordings are. So now when I come into here, here are the recording types that we've made. And the problem is if you're looking for it, you might see it, but it's not actually the recording. So there it is, but I can't see the other one I want. Again, you have to look around. And right here in the small print, you have to click recordings. So here's the two uh, recordings. So let's look at the longer version one, which was the Helm Lever Suite test. And we'll push play. Now we have the throttle calibrated position, the Helm Lever, Helm Lever Supply, and I can add graphs. So what I can do is I can pick any of these and add a graph to it. Diagnostics, service and maintenance, and then I have to go to the log test if I want to look at engine parameters. So now I can go to the engine performance. And this is one I think I made up a while back. So we'll look at that. Let's log this one. Go ahead and record it. There we go. So now you can see the live data on boost pressure, engine control, ECU, battery, voltage, injection, pressure, fuel temperature, and so on, and engine speed. And that recording would be as long as you want to make the recording and you can play it back. What's nice is while you're doing this, if I started a recording, okay, I could add a graph here and um, for this, you know, accelerator pedal position and watch the graph change when I move the throttle lever, right? And it's pretty, pretty quick that it picks that up. And it starts at zero and neutral. And then as I go to the forward detent and I start moving it again, there's my sweep of my throttle lever. So there's your uh, accelerator pedal position or throttle lever. Accelerator pedal comes from trucks. And there's your flat line at 100%. And then it can come back the other way and check. Okay, so any of these you can graph and I can pick another one and graph it if I want. I can add that graph. And now that graph is gonna show up. If I wanna close this graph, just hit X. Close that graph, I just hit X. So I can look at any of these I want, battery voltage, potential, mission control pressure, whatever. Whatever you wanna look at, you can do that. And don't forget, stop and save it, okay? And uh, click yes. And that will save that recording. So now you can go back and you can look at it. And again, where do you look at it if I close this? Um, back to administration, right? Log tests and templates. So if I go to recordings, Helm lever test, this is the monitoring of the engine. And here's the one I just did, 217, it is 220. So notice that it just gives you that template name. You can change it and create your own. It's up to you. But being selected, I can play it. And there's the same exact thing. And then I can add graph, right? So I can see the accelerated pedal position and I have to push play for that recording to play across the top of the bar graph. You can increase the speed of it if you have a really big, you know, recording, it'll increase the, the playtime speed, right? And then if you really want to slow it down because you're looking for a glitch, like when I'm doing that sweep test, I can slow it way down and then I can look for an issue with it. So there's some good functionality in the program, right? So I just wanted to show you a little bit about that as well. And we'll look at some uh, other values later on the EVCE system as well, EVCD and E. Okay, till next time.